Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his little doggy. Posting, posting my letterbox, acting like I'm normal, not talking to a camera. <laughs> Postman Pat. <laughs> guys i hope you're okay hope you're well and today today is a brand new day <laughs> um i'm going to talk about my updates and as you can see by the title i do have a job yay <laughs> um so i'm going to just talk about that and i also do have a volunteering job so i'm going to talk about that as well so i hope you enjoy this if you did comment and like and subscribe and yeah let's get on to it i want to start all the way back to the crying video i made <laughs> still don't know why you know i made that video kept it up but it's still up there <laughs> so i made a crying video about how i couldn't find a job and i was searching and searching even after my degree i couldn't find a job searching and searching so then i hit a, a low <laughs> I signed up to the job centre. <laughs> um, very low point for me, not gonna lie. If you don't know what a job centre is, or if you don't, I don't know if USA have them. I don't know if America has it, I don't know. But job centre is basically benefits while you look for a job. And yeah, I, I didn't want to go down that route, but I had to. Then two weeks later, um, there was a recruitment event. Um, I got tagged in it, people like talked to me about it, blah blah. So it's for a theme park. Most of you already know this because I did a life update video, but I just wanted to do a whole new new video on my jobs and stuff. Um, but yes, it is for a theme park and it's for a theme park's hotel. So when you walked into um so this recruitment event was at a local town hotel and when you walked into there you had like different stalls and different stalls represented different areas of the theme park so one could be retail, one could be hotel, one could be arcade so I went to the arcade first and I thought they talked to me about their roles, what I have to do, stuff like that and I said um, and then I thought to myself okay because I ha my only ever job, um, apart from photography, like not photography wise, but job wise, I only ever had one and that was like eight years ago, more than that. So I was like, okay, arcade job is a good starting job for me. But then I went to the hotel side and like I thought about the fact that the hotel will help me so much when growing um, in my life, so I thought hotel would be better. Little sign up, did my whole details, um, just random stuff that I needed to know. And then 15 seconds later, she was like, Right, are you ready for an interview? And I was like, Okay. So I had my interview that lasted 15 minutes. They asked the basic questions, they asked, Why do you want to work here? They asked, what would you do if um, a customer wasn't calm and kept shouting, how would you calm them down? And then they asked random questions like, can you work by water? Which I don't understand, but you know, or work with animals. I'm like, how does that relate to a hotel? But okay. <laughs> but yes, um, I got asked them questions and then I got, went home, no, I went to the shops with my mother. <laughs> And then I got a call at the shops to say, congratulations, we want to offer you a job, the job at the hotel. And I was nearly in tears <laughs> because I was like, all this searching, and I finally have something. The only thing is it is temporary, which to me was, is a bit upsetting that it's temporary, but I kind of knew that it was going to be temporary when I applied for it. But at the same time, what I was going to say. Mm. Yeah, that's a temporary job, but it's a job at the end of the day. While I'm filming this, I actually have my introduction tomorrow. <laughs> I have it tomorrow. And then I have my uniform like four days later. So yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to it. I'm happy that I finally got a job. It can go on my CV and it will hopefully help me work up. I 
another thing I've also signed myself up for is a volunteering job. A radio station in, I don't know if I can say this, in Coventry, um, UK. And um, it's basically to help with their social media, so like Twitter, Facebook, um, Snapchat probably, stuff like that. It's to help with their social medias. It's all, the whole station is all um, volunteering based. So no one gets paid at the radio station, so the job centre does allow that. Um, what else? I, they also want to open a blog, so I'm going to help with them. I'm going to help them with the blogs. Um, they can also. I'm also going to do some video YouTube videos for them that they want to do, just vlog and vlog and stuff. Um, and stuff like that so it's just helping them build really and it is far from where I work where I'm going to work that's crazy to say and it's far from my house but I don't mind the travel and the best thing about this is that all I have to do is show them my rotor and I will work around my rotor and I don't have to be in the office for that many times a week so hopefully it will be good um, which means I'm going to be very busy um, in October, it's going to be my busiest month so I have no idea how many videos I'm going to pop up on here, um, I am just going to still react to Escape the Night or Seasons, you know, I will do that anyway, but I just don't know how much I'm going to upload on here so I'll try my best, I'll try my best. Um, and I think that's it, like, it's everything I've learned that over the years, over the years I've learned so many things can happen to you and so many things can happen, like, within a week, within two weeks, within a month, like, so many things can change in a month, like, it's crazy how, what happens and it's, it's shocking and it's, like, freaky <laughs> that so many things can happen in a month, so many things can happen in a week. Like you could plan something for a year. Now you can plan something for a week's time, but something will happen in a week. Like it's crazy, like that's what I've learned. I've also learned that people are totally different behind doors, but that's, an that's for another story time, okay? Um, but yeah, it's it's very strange to me right now. I've bought myself a diary, <laughs> adulting, <laughs> um, that I probably won't use. <laughs> I've tried to use it now and I'm trying to definitely use one now, but I'm not that type of person to use a diary. But at the same time, I've like, I keep asking people, what's gonna happen next? What's... So I think a diary is better for me. So we'll see how that works out. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward, as you can see I've got cold still, but I'm really looking forward to this month and I really hope everything works out, I hope the job works out, I hope I like the job, I hope my volunteering job works out because my volunteering job is, excuse me, my belly burped. <laughs> my volunteering job is based on my degree so I'm pretty happy with that and I hope that works out as well. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that I've got a job, yay, and um, I've got a volunteering job and I'm going to be so damn busy and I need to be busy because I've ran, I haven't got a morning routine, I haven't got a routine now, it's crazy, like it actually depresses me how little routine I have, so I definitely needed it. And yeah, thank you for the support on my last on my crying video, <laughs> my but I cannot watch that. All the videos I have made, I cannot rewatch because I cringe <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so once I edit them, that's it. I don't, I don't touch them anymore. <laughs> but yeah, um, obviously to look at comments will, but I just pause the video, you know. But yeah, that's my update video. Even though I kind of mentioned my job in my life update, I just wanted to come in here and just talk about it, like in more detail but yeah thank you for watching this video if you did like comment and subscribe 
I am very close to my goal, so please support me in that if you want to. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.